By the way, we're talking about St. Patrick's Day. Next week at this time, we're going to be waking up to a later sunrise and a later sunset because Saturday night at 2 a.m. our clocks uh, we spring forward. We lose the hour of sleep, but there are some pros. Our sunsets are officially going to be after 7 p.m. starting next week, and they just get later and later as we go into the summer, of course. Now out there this morning, uh, it's not really feeling like spring just yet. We're pretty chilly, low 40s to mid 40s on the North Shore, even some 30s at times. We have 50s in New Orleans and upper 40s to mid 40s down in Thibodeau, Oklahoma. So you're going to need a sweater or something this morning. We do have a lot of sunshine, though, and this is what we're going to be dealing with today. Uh, but with the temperatures only getting into the mid 60s, there's still going to be somewhat of a chill in the air, but a very pleasant afternoon. Lots of sunshine, maybe a cloud here and there, and the clear skies will continue into uh, tonight. But as I mentioned, we are going to have somewhat of a breeze out of the east, mainly this afternoon, 10 to 15 with gust over uh, 20. So you're going to notice the wind. Now, pollen and mold levels, I know I'm certainly noticing the allergies over the past couple of days. I really have. Uh, trees are our main ones right now, and it's going to be oak. Uh, these have been kind of fluctuating between oak and juniper, but when our weeds and grass are going to climb as well. So just something to keep in mind. Overnight tonight is going to be quite chilly. We'll see the mid 30s on the North Shore. Not really expecting any freezing temperatures, but you might see some patchy frost tomorrow morning if the winds let up enough. Low uh, to mid 40s uh, south and away from the lake here in the metro, though, will be in the mid to upper 40s. Car wash forecast. We're still in the green all the way through at least Thursday, so get out there and wash the car. It's not very often, you know, you can go that many days down here without needing a car wash. Uh, usually we get rain here and there. No rain really in the forecast through the rest of the work week will be dry. I do think we'll start to see some showers by Saturday and even into Sunday, a better chance for showers, maybe even a few storms. Looks like we'll get a cold front in here and it's just that time of year. Whenever that happens, it is possible you get a few thunderstorms. Look at our temperature forecast 66 today. We're back in the 70s tomorrow, mid 70s, Tuesday, Wednesday, 80 Thursday and Friday. And before you start complaining, I've had people on social media telling me I'm not ready for the 80s. The humidity is not going to be bad, so these 80s are going to feel decent. Um, you know, it'll be warm, but our dew points only in the low 60s. That is manageable. It's not until you get dew points in the 70s when you start to have big issues. So next six to 10 days, we're running above average. It looks like we'll start to get near average or maybe slightly below average as we go into the end of March. So maybe a little bit of a cool into the month. But before all that, we've got great weather, low 80s, uh, what we're looking forward to on Thursday and Friday. And listen, I don't like the heat. I don't like sweating either, but <laughs> I'm kind of excited for a little bit of warmer temperatures for a couple of days. And then uh, next weekend's when we're watching the and chance for the 80s, not